Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mike Delapola here at Pacifico Mazda. Today we're going to be looking at the 2019 CX-5 Grand Touring Edition. We have 19 inch level uh, tires on these. Let's talk about some of the safety features. So from the Touring and up, you have the Mazda Safety Package with the iActive Sense Safety Package. Right here you have your Mazda Radar Cruise Control built right in here. Up top here where your camera is, this is going to do your lane keep assist. All this technology works together flawlessly. You also have automatic smart brake support, smart city brake support. So at different speed levels, you can actually have the car apply the brakes automatically should you fail to do so. You can see there's easy access for the door to get in. So you have the proximity key in your pocket. You don't feel like pulling the key out. It's way too cold outside. Let's hit that button. Boom, boom. Opens up the door. Hop in. If there's two different drivers here, let's talk about the memory seating. So if I'm sitting a little bit further back and the driver two is sitting a little bit further up, we can have two different levels for each driver. Hit the button that you want to set the driver level to and it will automatically adjust forward for you. Bose system inside this car. Really, really nice 10 speaker Bose system in here. In the back of the car. Mazda does a really, really nice job hiding their subwoofer so it's not just out in the open. This is your subwoofer right here. If you've ever put in your cell phone into an empty cup and you have it act as a, a higher bass level, it gives a little bit more clarity to it, makes it sound better. This is the same concept. As the subwoofer is mounted to the tire, that tire is gonna act as an enclosure. Delivers a flawless music system with this. So let's close this up here, hit the button. It's gonna let you know it's back and down. You can do this with the key as well. So if you're coming out of the supermarket, you have a grocery cart full of items, and you hit the key right there, it's gonna open up for you. This right here is your camera. One of the handiest features about that camera is it incorporates a blind spot monitoring system into your backing out. So I go to Wawa frequently and I back out. When I'm doing so, if my camera doesn't see somebody, it will detect a car in either direction, even if the camera doesn't see it. It's gonna give me an audible alert, as well as a visual alert in that camera screen inside the car. So let's go inside the car, guys. From the passenger side, you have a passenger power seat as well. Grand Touring is going to give you the power passenger seat. You go to the Touring level, you're going to get a manual passenger seat. So while we're inside the car, we can adjust the steering wheel here, bring it closer out to us. And now we're going to get the screen dial here. So you can change this around of what you see on the screen. This is one of my favorite screens to leave this on. This will set with the Mazda Radar Cruise Control. We can turn that on here, and then we'll set it to the desired level that we want to keep distance wise. So we have four, three, two, and one, and this will automatically adjust based on the level you set. So if I have this set at four, it's going to keep a longer distance versus I was set at one. This is speed dependent, so there's no set distance that this will keep. If we're going faster, this is going to keep more of a distance if we were going only 20 miles an hour. So let's talk about some of the other features. In here, we also have Apple CarPlay. We'll talk about that later and how that configures with the car. Also have Android Auto. So let's talk about setting some of the safety stuff in here. Safety settings, we have the distance recognition system. This incorporates with this screen. So as you're driving, you'll see a picture of a car and then it depends on what you have this set at. If this is set at far, it'll automatically tell you if you're too close to that other car if you have it set to near, if you, if you like to leave a little bit of distance and not a wide gap, you can adjust that as well. Going into the smart braking system, this is great. I've used this in my car about a month ago. Somebody hit their brakes in front of me. As I was about to tap my brake, it automatically was at the floor for me and the brakes, the brakes were being applied automatically without me having to do anything whatsoever. Save me from having to hit somebody in the back. You can also adjust the level, so if you want to keep more distance, we can adjust this and adjust the sensitivity on this. So the next safety feature is the blind spot monitoring. When this is on, you can adjust this to high, low, or off. This incorporates with the mirrors on each side. So as I put my turn signal on, if somebody's in my left hand side here, it will let me know. If I put my right turn signal on, it will let me know on the right hand mirror as well. It will give me an audible alert before I change lanes and will let me know that somebody is in either side in my blind spot. So the next thing is the lane keep assist system. Really, really handy system. Behind this mirror here is a camera. It's gonna read the road markings on the, on the road. 
So as you're, dri as you're driving and you're traveling along, if you go over the line and you don't use your turn signal, it will give you an alert, either audible or a uh, vibration on the steering wheel. So as we go through the car a little bit, you can sec check out the sound settings here. Turn down the bass a little bit. If you want to turn it up, you can. What we like to do is turn on a center point and the audio pilot. So with the center point, what it's going to do is it's going to concentrate that volume towards the center of the car and deliver a much more rich experience of sound clarity. If you turn the center point off, it, the sound concentrates more towards the door and the outside of the car. Audio pilot is handy and incorporates with your sunroof. So as your sunroof comes open and it's summertime out, springtime, you got the music you know playing and everyone's listening to the music, you have sound outside. Just like you heard that bike go by, it'll automatically adjust your sound in that car for road noise. So that's a handy feature with the audio pilot. Coming to some of the controls here. There's a reason why Mazda does five buttons on this. Okay, so this is touchscreen when the car is in, in, in park and you're not moving at all. This is going to be touchscreen. I can automatically hit that screen and it's very responsive. So when the car is in motion, the reason there's five buttons here is because you have five fingers. So you, your hand is going to develop a muscle memory over time. So with that muscle memory, I know that each finger is going to do a different function. My thumb is going to do the back button. The index finger is going to do music. This is going to do home. This is navigation. This is the favorites. Touching on some of these buttons here. Music, when your phone is hooked up, goes right to your Apple Music, or there's also a Sirius XM radio on the Grand Touring and higher. You can get uh, HD radio on these as well. Uh, Bluetooth your songs to the, to the radio as well. The home button allows you to easily toggle between the Mazda uh, operating system and the Android Auto or the uh, Apple CarPlay system. The navigation, the Grand Touring and higher is gonna come equipped with an onboard navigation card. So as you look in here, your navigation card is going to be inside of here. Why do you need an onboard navigation card when we have it through our cell phones? Well, if you're in a bad area and there's no cell reception, you don't want to be stuck not having the navigation in your car. With that navigation card, it's going to use a satellite system. So it's automatically going to give you directions even if you are in poor cell reception. The favorites key is very simple. Just incorporate your favorites in here. You can add Sirius, FM. Uh, AM channels all in one convenient location. You can even have it add favorite people that you talk to and add favorite destinations as well. So that concludes our video just about the CX-5. Best thing to do is really come in um, and experience all the different trim levels. We have them starting at a variety from the base level all the way up to the signature. You know, and uh, if you're not sure which one you're looking for, come in and ask for one of our sales associates. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions for you guys.